People in Orange County may feel the ground shake over the next few weeks. It's not the big one. It's part of a year-long project to map out what lies beneath. Well, CBS 2's Lisa Siegel is live in Rossmore to explain. Lisa. Well, hi, you guys. Yeah, a lot of residents here in Rossmore, they felt a shake and a vibration and some sound, and they thought it was an earthquake. Well, it wasn't. In fact, it was a study to help them be safer. It felt like an earthquake, and I'm a big chicken when it comes to earthquakes, so I was a little nervous and actually startled me. In her usually quiet neighborhood in Rossmore, Tina Bono got a bit shaken this afternoon. A heavy vibration, and it was long. Um, nothing fell on the house, things rattled. But it wasn't an earthquake, it's these special trucks. LA Seismic is collecting data to give to the USGS and Caltech to more clearly understand fault lines in the areas of Seal Beach, Long Beach, Rossmore, and Los Alamitos. Tracy Farmer is with LA Seismic. We are gathering information to create a 3D seismic array of everything that's up to about 15,000 feet below the ground. To do this, 6,000 sensors were placed underground. As the trucks roll through, they send acoustic waves deep into the earth. That vibration and sound helps create a 3D seismic map of the ground below. Once the sensors have been collected, they are downloaded, and the USGS will take the information needed to define fault lines. Caltech will take the information that they need to study the earthquake behaviors. Now, the survey will take another 11 days until the 14th. The company says while it may be a minor disturbance for people who live here, it's all for a greater cause. Hopefully, we are preventing danger. No one can predict an earthquake. That's the scary thing about earthquakes. So, for the time that they're doing and the work that they're doing, um, I don't have a problem with it. I like it. And most residents that we talked with felt the exact same way. In fact, the trucks kind of roll through very fast, so it doesn't take long to get the information they need. Now, if you live in one of the cities we mentioned, all you have to do is go to our website, cbsla.com, and we have a list of where they'll be headed next so you know exactly when they'll be coming. Back to you guys.